As you already know from the title, I will replace a valve for the Venus on this BMW. This car is equipped with an N20 engine and uh, long story short, check engine light on, reduce power. First thing, scan the vehicle and found error for the Venus exhaust control fault position not reached. When you have a Venus error, first thing you will check the oil level. I did that and it was ok. Next step for me was to check the electric actuators for the Venus. The same, in my opinion, they seem to be ok. Next step I was able to check the valves for the Venus. And I found that the exhaust valve for the Venus was damaged. But for example, if that one was ok, was not damaged, next step was the adjustment unit that is the Venus itself or the timing chain. On this one, the time chain was replaced recently and to check the adjustment unit or the time chain, you need to remove the valve cover. But I was lucky and the problem was for the valve. So enough with me talking and I'll show you how easy it is to replace the valve and also I will show you the old one. To access the Venus I need to remove the engine acoustic cover, but on this engine, being the first generation of N20, the wastegate for the turbocharger is actuated by vacuum, so I need to be careful and to disconnect the vacuum reservoir that is situated inside of this cover. Like so, now I can remove the engine cover and also the acoustic foam, I can remove it. On the N20 it's very simple. The actuators for the Venus, this one is for the intake, this one is for the s house are here in the front of the engine. To access them, I need to remove this harness. Very easy. As if I told you at the beginning of this video, I had an error on the x house side. I have diagnosed the car, the engine, and I have removed the damaged valve from the x house and swap the valves between the exhaust and intake and now the damaged one is here on the intake. I did that to test to see if the error will migrate with the valve on the intake. I drove this car a couple of miles, a couple of good miles over the weekend and unfortunately I was not able to recreate the error. So I hope in this case after replacing the valve everything will be okay. If not, I will need to go further. So now I need to remove the solenoid for the intake. The screws for the solenoid are E Torx, inverted Torx, and they are with E6. This here is the valve itself. To remove the valve, I need to remove this C clip first from here. And with my special plier from Harbor Freight, I will remove it. But before I will remove that C clamp, I need to do something with this hole from here. Because if I will drop that C clamp inside here, it's inside of the engine and I'm screwed. To do that, I have a very simple method with a rag. I will create a barrier. Something like that. And now with careful, I need to remove this clip from here. Like so, this beauty, and now I can remove the valve. I need to be very careful. Come on. And this is the valve. 
and also inside there I have a filter. Is this one? And I have here two valves. They are used. They are not new. I will use only one. I have here some oil, fresh oil. I'll take the valve. I will dip it in oil, like so. This is the other filter. And you can see it's very clean. To put back the filter, I will use a T30 screwdriver. I'll put the filter on the screwdriver. It's a perfect fit. And now I need to put back the filter. inside of the venous adjustment unit. Now I will take my valve from the oil and I will put the valve inside of the engine, inside of the venous adjustment unit. And you can see here, I have a key that I need to align it with the keyhole in the adjustment unit. And last step, put back the C-clamp. Perfect. It's inside. And it's moving. And now to show you what is wrong with this valve. If you look here, where is this ball? This is the damaged one. I will show you a good one now. You can see the difference. This color from here, it's missing. I have it here. Was supposed to be like that. Behind here, if I can remove this cover, you will find a ball, ball bearing with a spring that it's pushing against this cap. It's a valve. The same inside here. I have a spring and this big piston that will move its position and will let oil to go to different passages to adjust the venous. You see the filter? I have found this ring inside of the filter, like so. Because on the car, the good valve will have the filter in front like this. Now, I don't know exactly what was exactly the problem. I think maybe 
the bowl will not close perfectly and will let some oil to pass, won't close. Or the filter itself, it's quite small and having that piece of uh, metal inside, uh, probably, I suspect, the oil flow was cut, was reduced. I don't know. But either way, I will find out if this was the real problem. I will need to do more miles with this car to see if the error will reappear or not. And this video will end here. I hope you learned something new. If you do so, show me by hitting the like button. I want to thank you for watching these videos, for being with me. And until next time, you know the drill. Stay awesome. Bye now.